Hey clan, four questions this week on The Bearded Broker. Can I apply for a mortgage when my house is on the market? What does loan to value mean? Do I need a deposit when I remortgage and is buying a flat and a block a bad idea? Coming up in the video. Good afternoon everyone, it is The Bearded Broker live here for episode 8 and we have some first time buyer questions, we've got some next time buyer questions and some other various bits and pieces all from, so we've got one from Queen's Ferry, we've got a question from Edinburgh, uh, one from Esk Bank and one from Leith, so all fairly localish and I'm just going to dive straight in this week. If you have any questions at all, if you're a first time buyer or if you're looking to sell your house and buy a new house and you want to ask any questions, then feel free to get in touch and we will be happy to help. If I don't know the answer, if it's more of a legal question, then I will happily get the answer for you. So this week we've got, I think I'm going to say this name uh, properly, so we've got Pritvi from Queen's Ferry asking the question, I have put an offer in on a property but my house is not sold yet can I still apply for a mortgage yes you can Preet v, because these two things are completely separate so there's no problem at all in putting an offer in on a property there's no problem at all in then going ahead and applying for a mortgage to a bank or a building society or through a broker or an advisor because what that let's say broker is going to do is he's going to apply on the basis that you are going to sell your house because you're not committing yourself into anything at this stage you can go through the mortgage application you can go through getting the mortgage fully agreed and offered and everything else and you can go through that whole process now if for whatever reason you don't go ahead and sell your property the solicitor that's acting on your behalf won't have committed you to the new house purchase at this stage. So your your offer would have been put in subject to the sale of your property preview. So hopefully that's not too confusing. And hopefully hopefully you get that. But yes, your question is can I still apply for a mortgage? The answer is yes, and you can go through the whole process, but ultimately what's not going to happen is you're not going to get committed to it until the time is right and you have got your property sold. So thanks very much for the question. Hopefully that's answered your question. Now we've got Mark from Edinburgh asking, what does loan to value mean? I remember actually when, so before I was a mortgage advisor, quite a number of years ago now, my father talking about loan to value and he did try and explain it to me once and I still couldn't get it uh, back then. So I can understand that that question we get quite a lot of what does loan to value mean. So I will typically explain it by way of an example. And I always use £100,000. So let's say you're buying a house for £100,000 and it's valued at £100,000. If you're putting down a 5% deposit, so in that example 5000 and you borrow 95000 that would be a 95% loan so the money that you're borrowing against the value so what the property is worth so that loan that you're borrowing against the value is based on a percentage so in that example 95 percent now lenders will lend their money to you based on how much deposit you're putting in so they'll, so they'll sell you a rate based on how much deposit you're putting in and it goes in 5% decrements. So for every 5% extra that you can put in, they will give you a better deal. So at 95%, they're the highest rates. At 90%, they get a little bit better. At 85%, and so on and so forth. All the way down to, you know, 60% loan to the value. So in that example, again, you borrow 60,000 against a house that's worth 100,000. In that example there, you would have a 60% loan to value mortgage. Hopefully that makes sense. 
I've spent years trying to explain that properly and hopefully let me know in the comments if I have explained it properly and if not I'll try and have another go. Okay, hopefully Mark that answers your question. Lena from Esk Bank is asking, do I need a deposit when I remortgage? Now, typically when you've bought a house and you're coming up to remortgage, so remortgage can simply mean that you're, the deal that you are on or were on is coming to an end. So let's say you went into a two-year fixed rate initially. At the end of that two-year fixed rate, you have the choice to remortgage, and remortgage is simply going to another lender asking for, you know, trying to get a better deal somewhere else. Now, the answer is, do I need a deposit? It really depends what's happened in that couple of years. So let's go back to the £100,000 example. So you bought this house for £100,000 two years ago and you took out a 90% mortgage. So you put down £10,000 at that, at that stage. Two years time, you're hoping that the value's gone up a little bit and you're hoping, which it should have, the balance has gone down a little bit. So in that example, let's say we're now at 85%. There's no deposit required. Even if you're still at 90%, there's no deposit required to go from one lender to another because the lender is going to use that value that you've already got on the property as the deposit. So it's just like it was two years ago when you put in 10,000 cash. This time they're just using what is called the equity. So the equity in your property is the difference between that mortgage balance and what it's worth. And that gap in there is what the lender will use as your deposit. So there's no new cash needed. Where there would be new cash needed is, let's say on the flip side of that, you bought this for 100,000, you borrowed 90,000. Two years time, if the markets had a crash, like 2008 and onwards for a while, then you would need to put in some money. If the, if the value has come down quite some way, then you would need to put some money in if you were going to try and go to another lender. So hopefully, Lena, that helps answer your question. We do lots of remortgage business. So as a mortgage broker, we do loads and loads of remortgage business. And remortgage business to us could mean a few things. Just looking for a better deal for someone or the remortgaging to A, look for a better deal, plus B, borrow some more money on top of their mortgage because they want to do home improvements, you know, that sort of thing. So we do loads of it and it's not often that it comes up. I can think of maybe once or twice in the last handful of years where someone's actually having to put any money in. <clears throat> now, Lena, just to finish off on that point, sometimes someone will want to put money in to that remortgage because they will want to bring the balance down and they want to bring the balance down because they've got cash and they want to get a better loan to value, like I explained regarding Mark's question. Because if you're on the cusp of getting a better deal, you might say, I can put in 3,000 to get myself to a better product, a better loan to value. So sometimes it's worth putting in some cash if you've got some spare cash. Hopefully that answers your question. We've then got Emily from Leith. So this is the fourth and final question for the Bearded Broker Live this week. Is buying a flat in a tall building a tall building block, a bad idea. Uh, I suppose I can't see any reason why it would be a bad idea. Some lenders don't lend on tall building blocks if they don't have a lift, for example, or depending on what it's made of, that sort of idea. But I can't see any reason. If that suits your circumstances, Emily, then it's up to you what you buy and where you buy it. I suppose from a resaleability point of view, if you're thinking that far down the line, it's how easy is it to resell on, uh, what area is the block in. But buying a tall, and I suppose that depends what you mean by tall, there's, there's tall building blocks all over the country. So I don't see any reason why you wouldn't, as long as it suits your circumstances, as long as it's got a lift, a working lift and that sort of thing as well, Emily. So hopefully that has answered your question. So if you have any property related questions, any mortgage related questions, I'd love to hear from you. 
please just comment in the comment section below or send us an email info at stisi that's s-t-i-s-i dot co dot uk we'll happily take any questions and we'll keep you know hopefully helping you guys out with all your questions as time goes on if you know any first time buyers or you know any next time buyers or someone looking for a remortgage then please put them in touch we would love to be able to help them so that's ross stisi from the stisi group we're trusted mortgage experts and i am the bearded broker thanks very much and we'll see you next week